Hello viewers. In this tutorial, I will discuss how to prepare Thyssen polygon in ArcMap and also I will explain how to use the Thyssen polygon in your study. First of all, Thyssen polygon is a commonly used methodology for computing the mean aerial precipitation for a catchment from rain gauge observation which was presented by Alfred H. Thyssen in 1911. So here you can find some sample point. This is a rain gauge station of a casement area. Thyssen polygon are generated from a set of sample points such that each polygon define an area of influence around its sample point. So that any location inside the polygon is closest to that point than any other sample point. So here assumption is that the measured amount at any station can be applied halfway to the next station in any direction. Like here one station, it is halfway to the next station in any direction like this direction. Also it is applied for this direction, it is applied for this direction, applied for this direction. In every direction it is halfway and it shows the influence area of that location. So Thyssen in 1911, he showed the influence area of any rain go station. Let's move ahead in ArcGIS how to prepare the Thyssen polygon. So here my arc map. First of all, I'm adding my data here. This is my Casman area, Looney Basin. And here point data. You can add, go to file, add data and add XY data. Then go to this file option here my point data in csv format and here x fill longitude y fill latitude and z fill none then click ok click yes now this is my point data but this is a temporary file so you should export this data first before doing any task so go to data and export data so here you can export your data in any location change your location or name point data and save it and click it ok do you want to add export data to the map as a layer yes I want so no need to temporary data remove it here the point data now go to this arc toolbox in the arc toolbox you can find analysis tool this one in the analysis tool you can find proximity and here the create Thyssen polygons click it and then your input features definitely point data and your output features you can save it in other location and also and click ok this is your Thyssen polygon of your study area now you can clip it Clip it input features that's in this one point data and clip features your export data this one and clip it ok now uncheck it this is your Thyssen polygon of your sample then station now go to layout view this one if you're working with climatological data, climatological studies or if you use the rain gauge station then you can prepare this Thyssen polygon in your study area map in your or in your location map this shows the location of Thyssen polygon and then you can show the number of point here go to open attribute table here you can find point, station name or serial number you can give the station name here so go to point data and go to level features or go to properties then here the on tab level click it ok and then here the level features in this layer just check it this one now your station here the select this one station name and you can increase or decrease the size times new roman apply ok now it is okay just change the layout of this map 
go to page and pin setup here you can select landscape and set a scale map element proportional to the change in page setup click it ok now increase the size and here the full extent click it now this is your Thyssen polygon map Now go to insert here the scale bar you can choose any scale bar I am choosing this one go to insert again here the north arrow choose your north arrow okay you can increase by here at 12,300 so one two three four four five one two three four five okay and go to properties you can change the level kilometer to kimi you can increase or decrease size by dragging go to insert again select legend you can add point data that's been okay. just change the name of this point data Click it, go to general, the inverse. And here the point, just type Thyssen polygon. You can change the color. Go to symbology, go to category, and just input FID, add all, or you can change shape area, apply and OK, double click again, you choose FID, add FID, and it's OK, properties. style select this one it's okay apply go to layout change it to 24 okay and apply go to here uncheck it apply and okay still we need some more correction here here the vertical pass gap if you change it vertical pass gap zero click it ok apply and ok now it will be like this so this is our Thyssen polygon and this number shows the serial number of the station so now the last task go to properties again here the grid select new grid next 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 finish apply okay now go to properties again increase the size 12 click this vertical orientation left and right apply line do not show any line or tick interval increase to to two degree into two degree click it okay apply and okay so this is your Thyssen polygon or influence area of sample points or any rainbow stationary material station 
Thank you for watching this tutorial. I will upload new new videos. Please subscribe my channel and support to grow as a community.